everyone. We're back with Brett Schrotland. He's the new sheriff in town, and we're doing a little fudge taste test. Uh, we got the fudge from Mountain Grind here in Cooper Creek Square. So what's your favorite? You know, I'm going to have another piece of that mint explosion because it was really good. Yeah. It was really I'm, good. I, I like the mint explosion too, but the... The uh, chalk or the sea salt car caramel disappeared. There was a theft in the studio, and you were sitting right here. Right here. <laughs> They're all good. Very well. <laughs> so I know another one of your passions is the canine unit. Tell what? me about that. Is that your dog that that you have trained, and does it live with you? Like, what is that process like? So this is actually my second police dog. Mm -hmm. uh, my first police dog uh, I had for a few years, and I retired her. Mm -hmm. And then I have my second police dog, Argo. He's a German Shepherd. Aww. And uh, he's five years old and uh, lives with me at home. He's my dog. And uh, he's trained and certified to national standards um, to search for drugs, for people, uh, officer protection. He does how do you How do you train your dog for something like that? Does it go through, like, classes? And you said they're certified, too. So how long is that process? It's an ongoing process. <laughs> so it's an everyday process. So what happens is um, my dog actually came. He was imported from Germany. Um, came over and spent about a year with the trainer down in the metro area, the mm -hmm. Denver area. And then I went down there and spent eight weeks in training with him. Okay. And then came up, and then it's an ongoing training every month um, that we okay. do. So we just a lot of repetition and consistency with the dog training. So do you go down to Denver every month with your dog to I this have training? Been. Okay. Either they come, they come up here or we go down there. Okay. Um, a lot of times those metro agency officers like to come up here. Right. Where it's cooler, <laughs> it's new environment. Um, they can go skiing. They can go skiing at the same time. Um, so, so they come up here as well. Um, we kind of just rotate off of each other. Do you have one of those suits where the dog attacks you too? We do. Any <laughs> any time that you would like to to, to take a bite <laughs> from the dog, it. we will absolutely make that happen. So you can't, yes, you the big can't, sumo suit. Yeah, you can't feel anything though, right? No, no, not at all. So it's just basically a big padded suit, and uh, yeah. you get a chance to put it on and uh, run, and the dog will tackle you. Do you, what do you train it with, frisbees? <laughs> <laughs> no, we train it with balls, okay. um, balls and towels. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's kind of basically when the dog is doing its work, it actually thinks it's actually in a play. Mm -hmm. It's never an aggression. It's all about play for these dogs. Okay. So as far as the, like, the drug detection for them, though, I mean, you have to have actual drugs. I mean, how do you, how do, you do that exactly? So we actually we have, we have a license from the DEA, uh -huh. um, and the DEA actually sends us drugs every year, uh -huh. um, and then we use those drugs to uh, train the dogs. So... They just, I mean, how do you how do you do that, though? I mean, you let them smell it? A dog then... never really forgets an odor. Oh, okay. So we teach the dog the odor, and then we teach the dog that the dog is actually looking for its toy, which is basically a game of uh, kind of hide-and-seek for right. the dog. <laughs> and the dog takes the toy and takes that odor and mixes them together, and then actually... When the dog is looking, the dog doesn't realize he's looking for drugs. He <laughs> right. thinks he's looking he thinks, for his toy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or treats or something like Or treats like or something <laughs> like that. And so we use the towels for the dogs. And as we throw the towels back and forth with the dogs, the odors, the dogs become conditioned to that response of that uh, smell. So what what drugs are you looking for up here? Obvi well, I mean, not pot anymore, right? Or are you? So pot's a tough one. Yeah. Um, because on the state level, it's legal up to a certain amount. Uh -huh. And then at the federal level, it's not. So the dogs are uh, still trained in pot mm -hmm. um, because it's we're kind of at that middle of the line phase. We're not real sure yet right. how that's going to work. <laughs> um, but then they do heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, and then ecstasy. Okay. So the dogs actually search for five different drugs. Wow. Um, so you still you have two dogs at home, right? I do. Okay. And the other one is retired. It's a retired police dog. Okay. So you don't just like you don't just get rid of them. <laughs> no, no, no. She tore both ACLs and. Uh, her mind is still very smart. She's just a little slow when it comes to some of the maneuvering. Right. And so we tried to give her a break on those legs. Nice. Well, thanks for coming by. Um, we appreciate everything you do for our county. Um, it sounds like a lot of work, and you have, uh, you, have a, you, know, you have a lot of work to do, so we will let you go. But Th thanks again. Um, we'd like to have you back. Thanks for having me. I appreciate yep. it. And uh, eat some more fudge for Mountain Grind. I, I sure will. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. Stay with us.